hello everyone welcome to this video in this video i'm going to show you that how can we use chat gpt or how can we integrate chat gpt with our node.js app using the open ai api so open ai is the parent company of chat gpt and that is the one that um, has created chat gpt for us so uh, using the open ai api we are able to easily uh, not only integrate chat gpt with the node.js app but also get the responses of the chat gpt directly into our node.js app so in this video we are going to see the whole process so this process is bifurcated into two parts the first part is generating the api keys from the open ai api and the second part is actually using those api keys to generate the responses so in this video we are going to cover both the parts so let us start without any further ado so the first step is you need to go to chat uh, gpt's home page that is an open ai home page so this is the open ai home page open ai.com once you go in there you need to log in so once you log in, uh, you will get these two options, either ChatGPT or the API. Since we are going to work with the OpenAI API at this point, so I'm going to select this API option. Once you select that, you will get this kind of a page. So what you need to do over here is go to this uh, very left side menu. Here you will find this lock icon which shows API keys. So let's just click on that. Here you will see all the API keys that have been created by you. So for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to create a new API key. So just click on create a new secret key. If you want to provide it a name, we can provide it. Let's just say node.js test. And then click on create secret key. So once your uh, secret key uh, begins creation, you have to verify that you are a human. So you have to just uh, work on these uh, puzzles. So I will just quickly solve these puzzles and then continue the video. Now, once your action is complete, once your verification is complete, you will get this um, OpenAI uh, key. So we can just simply copy it from here and click on done. Now, uh, the reason I'm showing it on the internet is because I'm just going to delete the key after this uh, whole video is completed. Okay. Now, the next step, what you need to do is go to Visual Studio Code. Uh, so there are two ways of doing that. Firstly, you need to go to the parent folder where you want to create a project. So I'm in the desktop folder. So what I'm going to do is in the address bar, I'm just going to type CMD. So that would open the command prompt over here. And in here, I'm just going to create a new folder. So I'm just going to say MKDIR and uh, let us just make a new folder as uh, OpenAI. And then CD into this folder. And here I'm just going to open visual code. So for that, the command is code space dot so that would open up the visual studio code for me now comes the step of installing the packages so openai is a package that is provided to us that we need to install in visual studio code so once your code opens you need to go to terminal and cl click on new terminal once this new terminal opens up what you need to do is just run the few commands like npm in it to initialize the npm packages and this is going to take a few seconds so every confirmation it asks just press enter and finally click on yes so your package.json file would be created now we would be creating another file and name it as index.js that's where our code will come so uh, before using the code before actually using the package we need to install the package so for this the command would be npm install and the name of the package is openai so just type npm install openai and let's just wait for a few seconds till the package gets installed So this is going to take a few seconds and once the package is installed uh, or it is getting installed, you will see a node modules folder already created for you. This actually holds uh, all the files related to your package, the OpenAI package that we're trying to install. Uh, now, as you can see, the package has been completely installed. Uh, what we're going to do is write the code so that we can provide a prompt from our Node.js app and that prompt would be used. Uh, to generate the chat GPT response. So first of all, what we need to do is we need to import this package. So what we're going to do is we are going to write const. Uh, we are going to need configuration. And the open AI API from this. So open AI API. Uh, these both packages we need from the open AI. So require open AI 
then uh, I'm just going to use this config to uh, config the API keys that we have just copied. So it would be const config new configuration and in this we are going to just um, use the API key. So API key that would be the exact value that we just copied and put a comma in the end. Uh, now our config variable has been created. Uh, we would create another variable to initialize the uh, OpenAI API. So let's just name it as OpenAI itself. And uh, let's create a new variable of type OpenAI API. And in here, the configuration details would be this uh, hold by this config variable. So that is provided over here. Then the next step would be to uh, make sure the prompt uh, we are providing. So run prompt. Let's just take this as the name of the variable. And this is going to be an async function. Instead of a promise, I think async functions are uh, much more easier to use and easier to understand as well, even for a beginner. So we are just going to use the async functions over here. And uh, here I'm going to take a variable that is, uh, let's say prompt. Here I'm going to provide it a prompt. So let's say my prompt is, tell me a joke. And that joke is, uh, let's say about a cat eating uh, pasta. So tell me a joke about a cat eating pasta. And that is my prompt. That's what I'm going to provide. Then uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to uh, get the response. So for the response, I'm just going to create another variable. Let's say the response variable. Here I'm going to uh, await for the response. So await for the OpenAI response so the function is called create completion create completion that would give me the response and here i need to configure some of the uh, variables like the model so the model is going to be uh, this is also going to be the same for you that is the text davinci 003 so this model is what chat gpt is using then we need to configure the prompt and that is the one stored in our prompt variable. Uh, then we have the max number of tokens. So that is uh, the max length of the response that uh, we need. So let's say uh, 2048. That's good for us for now. And then let's say the temperature is 1. So temperature is uh, actually the randomness. We don't want it uh, the response to be too random. Temperature 1 is good for us. Then finally, whatever the response is, we want to uh, print it. So we can just simply use a console log statement. So whatever the response is, we want to print it. Let's just print, uh, print only the response. And then finally, we call this run prompt function. So that's our code. We can just save it. And to run it, we have to run the command node index.js. So the response we get is uh, some kind of this. So that means uh, in the choices, we have got a message, which is a type of an object uh, that would return us the response. So instead of uh, printing the response, what we are going to do is we are going to print this. So the response uh, from the response, we go to choices and in the zeroth index of the choices, uh, whatever the message is, we want to stringify it uh, using json.stringify function. So we save the changes and run this uh, command again. And now here is the uh, joke that we got. Uh, why did the cat sit next to the bowl of spaghetti? Because she wanted to be a parmesan cheese. If you want uh, another joke, what we can do is we can rerun this uh, again with the same command node uh, index.js. So right now the uh, joke the content changes. Why did the cat sit next to the pasta because it wanted to eat some pasta cats Now if you want to just show this content what we can do is uh, in the message we do Dot content so that would give us only the content part and not the role part which is exactly what we want Now if we run this uh, again, so yeah, why did the cat sit down to eat a big 
plate of pasta because it wanted to be a copycat of the Italian Parmesan. So this is how we can easily get the response of the uh, chat GPT integrated into our node API. And that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.